All right, CAD fans, uh, let's look at setting up MicroStation to be able to draw a little more accurately. You'll notice that there's this grid on the screen with the dots in it. That's what's called a grid. Uh, and you can turn that on and off and manipulate it with these a few things here. First, let's look at settings, locks, and grid. Now, locks set things on and off. If I lock the grid, use smart line. It doesn't matter where I click, it's going to jump to the nearest point in the grid. See how it moved right to that? So if you want to use that to kind of control how you're drawing the lines, that's one way to do it. Right click to get out of that. I'm going to shut that back off for a minute. If you want to change how the grid appears on the screen, because obviously you'd want to set it to a particular distances and units, use settings, design file, and grid. In this case it's set to a tenth of my master unit, which I'll get to in a minute, with ten dots in between each one. Okay. Now I could change that to say point two, and you'll notice on the screen it opens up to a larger unit, right? So far so good. Now if you don't want to use grids at all, which tends to be what I do anymore, uh, go to Settings and View Attributes, the bottom item, and you can simply click off the grid altogether. Okay. okay so getting more particular now, one of the major advantages of using CAD is its ability to measure and scale things at, uh, pretty accurately. But first you've got to start out with whatever units you're going to use. Let's look at Settings, Design File, Working Units. Right now we're using a master unit of meters and a subunit of millimeters to an accuracy of four decimal places. You notice that that shows up down here in AccuDraw as you're using it. I've got four decimal places there and these numbers I think are in meters. All right, let's just draw something if I just move over and type 1 on the keyboard, that locks my X and I've got a line 1 meter long. Now we can use the measure tool. Click on that one end and then left click on the other end and it shows right here 1 meter. So this is kind of how you check and see what your units are. Remember we've got that 1 meter line there for a sec. Back to Design File, Working Units, and now let's switch to Feet. Where's my feet? Right there. Feet and Inches. We'll leave it with uh, quarter accuracy. How's that? Let's go back and measure this again. One meter is rounding to three and a quarter feet. Okay. Also notice that the AccuDraw is in different arrangement now too. So if I hit left click and go over one unit, that should be one foot. And it looks about right, doesn't it? So when I switch the units, note very carefully now, remember this. The length of the line didn't change, it just did the conversion for us. All right. Make sure you remember that. The other thing you can do with uh, with units, so we'll get back into that settings, design, file, working units again, is in the format. Right now it's working in just master units. I can pick master units colon subunits, and then it'll I can do in feet and inches. So let's try that. Now I should be able to draw something if I type in, say, two feet and then a colon three space one divided by four and left click again that is a line that's two feet three and a quarter inches long we can check it again with the measurement tool we can also do measure length and if I just click once on that line it'll get me the length two feet three and a quarter inches so it kind of gives you a general idea how this works 
Now let's save this. And then I'm going to close it and open it again. So I'll just open up the backup we had. And then I'm going to open up what we were just working on. And what happened? The grid's back on. Setting, design, file, working units. I'm back to meters and millimeters. It totally lost it, even though I saved it. Everything's here, right? I got the one foot line, the one meter line. What you have to use is uh, file, save settings. The settings on how the, d how the file is set up are separate from the data itself, just like showing it in meters and showing it in feet can be different it's still the same line. So MicroStation is saving these separately. Let's do save settings. Actually, let's uh, let's change it back to feet and inches. Feet, inches, quarter drawing units, master unit, subunit, display. Hit OK. Settings, view attributes, shut the grid off. Then do file save settings. I'll go back through, open the other file once. I didn't notice I didn't even hit save, I just hit save settings. And while we're at it, we'll delete a couple of things just to show how this works. File, just save settings. Open the backup, which closes the other one. Open backup, and there you see it saved the data, but it and it saved the settings this time on what I wanted. Good. Okay, here we are in an unused subway tunnel under New York City, uh, Manhattan to the west, Queens to the east. I think this is under the East River. Uh, yeah, that's how we got in there. That was the portion of the tunnel that had been built already. This is a project for that Kiewit Construction in New York City was working on. Uh, they're trying to extend the tunnel a little farther and unsuccessfully used a machine uh, for about a month and only got 27 feet into this hard rock. So, all right, uh, another handy tool you can use to draw with is called snaps. Uh, you can get to those through settings, snaps, and what I'll do is pick the button bar. It'll show up out here. Now, you can dock this button bar either along the side or along the I like to put it down along the bottom here any of these you can actually do that with like you could stick it over here or whatever in any case the snaps are pretty handy uh, the primary tool is AccuSnap it's kinda like AccuDraw for snapping if I pick the uh, SmartLine tool you see that it, it'll generate that little yellow X most of the time it'll do ends, it'll do middle. If I shut the AccuSnap off, see it won't work. And then I'll have to use the uh, center mouse button. And that will work. If I hit the center mouse button and then left click anywhere, it'll start from wherever I uh, snap to. So that's sort of the manual mode. Anyway, let's turn AccuSnap back on because that's what you want to use most of the time. And look at some of these others. There's uh, near point, midpoint, center, all kinds of good stuff. Intersection, snap, you could hit between two lines. Um, key point is actually the one that was set up. It'll do midpoint and ends by default. Uh, what's this one? Near point, it'll always go to the nearest object. You see how if I just move the mouse nearby, it'll pick and go. So I make sure that your objects hook together. Because if you don't have the snaps hooked on, I can zoom in a little bit, you can think that you're on it and you start drawing and miss. And on a very small level, that can mess things up because now you don't have a closed object. Okay, let's do a fit view to get back. Uh, perpendicular snap, let's turn that back on. Get my line tool back on. There we go. Perpendicular snap will give you a line. I left clicked and then just moved up. I can go anywhere from there. Right click to get out of it. So that's good. Snaps for you.